One of the things about the special methods in C++ is that, as we've seen, many of them are provided by default, in some ways whether you like them or not. And there are situations where you actually don't want some of these methods. You might wonder, well, well why would I not want these things? So, for example, the copy constructor. It will give you a default one if you don't write one yourself. So what if you don't want to make copies? Well, you might not want to make a copy, for example, if imagine this wasn't just an int star. Imagine this was a file star. So this was actually a reference to a file inside of here. Well, when you make the copy, the copy shouldn't refer to the same file. But what file should it refer to? Well, in a lot of those situations, it just turns out you don't want to allow anyone to make a copy. The way that you can deal with that in C11 is you can specifically state that the constructor should be deleted. Now, turns out you can also be explicit about things being default. And in some ways this is nice because the, the behavior prior to C11 was you just left it out and it popped in and people might not realize that you had a default implementation that was coming in. If I wanted this to use the default implementation, and that's really was my goal, I can state that. Okay, so I can say it equals default, and now the copy constructor is is just whatever would have been given there been by default. This line in some ways is redundant other than for the documentation value of it. I can also say equals delete. Now the interesting thing to note here is that my code below, the bar function requires a copy constructor. So when I try to compile this now, I get an error because it cannot do this. Uh, this is line 42, initialization argument of bar foo, which was called on line 50 right here. And it says that back on line 21, this, we declared that it was uh, to be deleted, that it's not supposed to be included. So by doing this, you can explicitly prevent the C++ compiler for, from generating a copy constructor for you. You can also do this for your assignment operator. Prior to C++11, and in case you're working with older code, what you'll find is that people would put the copy constructor in the private section, which meant that outside code couldn't, couldn't call it. Unfortunately, code interior to the class could still accidentally invoke it, and that would be less than ideal. But you can prevent these things from being written by putting equals delete, and you can be explicit in saying that you want the default version if you say equals default.